Okay children. Today we are going to do the second chapter of English literature. That is a chief's true friend. So let us see what is this chapter all about. See, Jane, Jane, where are you? For hours everyone was searching for Jane Goodall. She came out from a hen coop crying, I know how an egg comes out. Five years old Jane already loved animals big or small. So, here we can see that here is a lady, you can see the uh, girl who is sitting on a branch and he is interested, sorry, she is interested in uh, knowing about the animal. Okay, whether it is a big or small, she wants to know. So, she sat on a branch of her favorite beech tree and read stories about them. So, she best, you can see that she is sitting on a branch that is and the tree name is beech tree. This is a type of tree. Okay. This is a type of tree of large tree. You can see it is a very big tree and she is sitting there and Reading stories about animals. Okay. She wanted to live with animals in Africa and write stories about them. And she, she was very much interested in uh, living with the animals in Africa. Okay. Africa is a place and she wants to live there and write stories about them. And she wants to write uh, stories wants to write how they live, how they eat, all these things. She wants to write uh, stories about them. Many years went by. Jane finished her studies. So what happened? Jane finished her studies. She has completed. She has completed all her studies. And what happened? One day she got a phone call. So one day uh, Jane got a call. Okay. It was Dr. Louis Leakey. So, it was Dr. Louis Leakey. So, a famous scientist. So, the scientist who is scientist? A scientist, a person who finds out what, why things happen by doing tests. Okay. The sky, moon, all these things, the scientist find out, isn't it? And Dr. Lewis was that scientist. I am looking for someone to watch and learn about chimpanzees in Africa. Will you go? So now Dr. Lewis is asking Jane that whether you want to go to Africa where chimpanzees are living and watch there how they live, how they are eating and learn about their lifestyle. So, Dr. Lewis want Jane to go there and ask him whether Jane will go there or not. Now, what Jane is saying? Yes, said Jane excitedly. Very happily she is saying, yes, I will go because she is interested in uh, living, uh, interested in living with the animals, isn't it? So, what happened next? Soon she moved to go a national park in Tanzania. So it is a, a park, national park means a large area of natural land with plants and animals protected by the government for people to visit. Okay, so it is a large area. It is a type of forest only but it is protected by the government. By a government. Okay, so she started to live deep inside the forest. And what happened? She started to live there. Where she started? Deep inside the forest. 
and you can see here the word meanings are also there. You have to learn all these word meanings. Okay, children. So let me uh, erase it now. On her first night, Jane lay awake. So what happened? On her first night, she did not sleep. She did not sleep. Okay, she was awake. She was listening to new sounds, the hump of cricket, the laugh of hyena, the hoot of an owl. So these are the sound of this animal that is the hump of cricket is the sound which they, uh, which they do, the laugh of hyena, the hoot of an owl, and all these are the sounds. So she is listening there, sitting in the forest. To know more about chimps, she soon started walking in the forest. So what happened? She is uh, going inside the forest to know about the chimps, that is chimpanzees. So, sorry, she found a high peak from where she could watch the chimpanzees. So she went high uh, uh, up the peak, that is peak means high up, uh, up, uh, up in the mountain, okay, at the top point. And she wanted to go there, she went there and she wanted to see the chimpanzees. At first she could only hear their calls. Only what happened at first she could only hear them but she could not see them. She could not see them. She could not see them. Okay. As soon as a chimp saw her it ran away. When a chimpanzee came she as soon as uh, the chimpanzee saw Jane, they ran away because they were fearing, fearing Jane. Okay, they were not familiar with her. And then one special day, an older chimp came up to Jane. So what happened one day, an older chimp, old, old uh, chimpanzee came to Jane and what, uh, on that special, uh, special day. Okay. Jane was holding bananas. Jane, what Jane was holding? Jane was holding bananas in her hand. She took the, sorry, he took the bananas from her. And what happened? That chimpanzee took the bananas from Jane. Jane was very happy. She was very happy because that chimpanzee became friend. Okay. She named him David Graybeard. She named that chimpanzee David Graybeard. Okay. Soon, soon David became her friend. What happened? Soon, what happened? The David, that is the chimpanzee, became friend to Jane. He was not afraid of, uh, of her anymore. Now, at first, the chimpanzees were afraid of Jane because they do not know uh, Jane. But after that, what happened? They became friendly and David became more friend to Jane. Okay. Slowly, Jane became friend with other chimps also. And after that, what happened? Other chimps also came to Jane, uh, Jane and they were very much close to each other. Jane lived in the forest for many years. So, after many, uh, so many years, she stayed there. She lived in that forest. You can see the picture of the chimpanzee. Okay, you can see the picture of the chimpanzee. This is the picture of the chimpanzee. Okay. So, uh, she learned things about chimpanzee that no one else knew. So, Jane came to know about their lifestyle, uh, what the chimpanzees do, how they live in the jungle. She learned, for example, they were very intelligent animals. So, they were very much wise. They can understand well. Just like people, they could feel happy, angry, sad. So, they, the chimpanzees, can feel happiness, they are, they get uh, angry, they get sad, okay. They even tickle one another for fun. So, when they are happy, they also tickle one another. That is, tickle means what? T 
Stickle means move the finger lightly on someone's skin to make them laugh. So we can tickle like this, isn't it? So that is called tickle for fun. They had families and were loving mothers to their babies. So the mothers care their babies, care their families just as we do. Jane also noticed that chimps used object to find food. What did chimpanzees do to find out the uh, food? She saw see, she saw that David used a stick to dig for the termites. So what is a termite? A type of insect ate and ate them. So these things the chimpanzees eat. And they dig with the stick. Okay. But things were not always happy for Jane. But always happy thing does not happen. What happened? Things changed. She realized that her dear friend were in danger. So why they were in danger? Let us see. People were cutting down forests in Africa. And chimps were losing their homes. So what they found, what Jane found that people were cutting down trees. If they cut down trees, then where the chimpanzees will live? They live in the live on the trees in the for on the forest in the forest, isn't it? So if they cut down the trees, so there is no place for them to live. So it is very dangerous. People also hunted chimps or sold them to circus. So circuses you know that where animals are there and many activities are shown for the people for fun. So people are taking them to the circuses. So there is also um, the chimpanzees are not liking all this thing, isn't it? James travelled all, let me rub. all over the world asking for help. So Jane was moving all over the world asking for help because chimpanzees are in danger. She want to help them. She want to take care of them so that they can live happy. People listened to her and helped her protect the chimps in home. So people also helped them to Protect the chimpanzees. Okay. Today people all over the world know about her work. Now people are getting to know about her work. How uh, Jane is protecting the chimpanzees. How she is taking care of them. Jane still returned to home whenever she can. So she returned to home. So whenever she likes she come back and Come to chimpanzees. She walks into the forest and sits down quietly, smiling as she watches the chimps. See, you can see the picture that uh, Jane is sitting down and watching the chimpanzee, how they are uh, doing their activity and, and Jane is very happy seeing those activities. Okay, so this was uh, the story all about so you can see here the meanings are there quietly without making any noise. Okay. Peak, peak the pointed top of a mountain. Tickle, move the finger lightly on someone's skin to make them happy. Realize, understood. Travel went from one place to another. Favorite. Okay. Best liked or most enjoyed. A beech tree, a type of large tree. Scientist, a person who finds out why things happen by doing tests. Excited, very happy. 
National Park, a large area of natural land with plants and animals protected by the government for people to visit. So these are the meanings. You will write down all this in your English literature copy and you will learn all this. So I think you have understood this chapter. This, uh, this is very much interesting chapter to know about the chimpanzees. Okay, to know about the chimpanzees. So this was the video all about. I think everybody has understood. So I am ending the video over here. Okay, bye.